Hey friends, it's Kari from the Alford Homestead, and today we're showing you how we inoculate or activate our biochar. If you haven't seen the video on how we make biochar, go check that out now. But assuming you have gone through that step and you've got your biochar ready to use, here are the four main methods that you can use to activate it. So they all start with the same. You wanna make sure that you crush up your biochar. This is gonna help make sure that, well, number one, it doesn't take up so much space. It's just gonna be a lot easier to spread throughout your garden. So here are the four main methods. The one method that we used, we're doing two methods today, but the first one that we wanted to do was to soak the biochar in liquid fertilizer for one to three days. So this is probably the quickest way of using your biochar. And it's the way that I, I would recommend and we actually had some aerated compost tea. So that's what we're using as a liquid fertilizer. The next method would be to mix the biochar in with your compost heap and to leave that to sit for six to 12 weeks. This is the next best method in my opinion and that's also what we did. The third method would be to mix the biochar directly into your soil and leave it for three to six months before you plant anything. And then the last one would be to add it to your green waste and compost for anywhere from like three to 12 months or even 18 months. And then you add that biochar compost to your soil. So the first two methods is what we're gonna show you today, but keep in mind, there's still lots of other ways to activate your biochar. So, and the reason you need to activate it is because it's a dry sponge. It needs to absorb water and nutrients and to get those microbes going. The microbes is really the powerhouse of using biochar. So basically your biochar will soak up all of the water, all of the nutrients until it's full. And this can take some time. And during this time, you wanna make sure that it's not competing with plants that are already in the ground. So winter is the perfect time to do this because you don't want to be in the middle of growing your plants and they're competing for nutrients with the biochar. So here's the first method I mentioned. We're mixing it with our aerated compost tea. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. We're going to let that sit for three or four days and then go ahead and be, use that directly into the garden. The next method that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna mix it right into our compost heap, just like that. And that will be worked into the compost to decompose with everything in there and absorb all those nutrients, especially the nitrogen from the chicken poop. If you haven't seen how we created this compost ring setup, go check that video out. It's a wonderful, efficient compost system, 30 days. That's all it takes. So go check that video out if you haven't seen it. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning about biochar and why you would want to use it and how you would want to use it. It's a definite bonus for the homestead. All right, you guys, I will see you next time.